Hey guys, it's Kristen with HK Wax Center. What is hair removal wax? There's multiple different types of hair removal processes, but wax in general. If you're not sure, I'm gonna help you out and answer that question for you. So waxing, um, the actual definition is the process of hair removal from the root using a covering of a sticky substance to adhere to the body hair, then removing this covering and pulling out the hair from the follicle. So they say that waxing started back in Egypt, um, right around 1100 BC. They say it might even happen a little earlier than that, but for sure 1100 BC. So Cleopatra's time, which is pretty cool. Um, now, mostly they said they would remove body hair from their legs and their underarms, so the two big ones, but in general, they'd remove body hair from their entire body. They actually used um, a sugar-based wax, which we still have sugar wax in now. Um, now also, like the Roman Empire, they used it as a sign of class. So the more or the less, I'm sorry, body hair you have, the higher class you are. Um, they actually got a little creative. They would use tweezers, um, pumice stones, and then like other like depilatories as well. Um, but, but yeah, I guess higher the class the less hairy you are. Um, they even said that sometimes they would remove their eyebrows because it made their foreheads look larger and that was a sign of beauty. Interesting how if we all removed our eyebrows now, we'd be mortified. <laughs> but, you know, beauty changes. So that was, that was kind of funny to read about. Um, so waxing, now there's obviously, like I said, multiple types of hair removal. There's um, now, you know, people will shave, wax again. Um, they'll use different types of like creams that, you know, burn or dissolve the hair like right on the surface, um, laser hair removal, and then electrolysis. So electrolysis is the only true form of permanent hair removal. Um, they actually insert a needle that has like a light on the end and they zap the hair from the inside of the follicle. It takes a long time, painful, super expensive, but it works. Laser hair removal is the, um, they advertise it as permanent, it's not. Uh, anytime you have a hormonal change, the hair actually grows back, so menopause, um, you get pregnant, I see it all the time. Clients that used to, um, or that had laser previously, and now after having a kid or two, all the hair grows back, which is a bummer. Um, shaving, obviously, just using a razor, and then waxing. So even with waxing, you can break that down because there's multiple different types of wax. There is strip wax, which is where you apply a really sticky wax substance on your skin um, in a very thin, very thin strip and then you take a muslin strip and put it on top, remove it that way. Um, soft wax actually adheres to the hair. No, I'm sorry, remove that. Soft wax adheres to the skin. Sorry guys. Um, so whenever you're removing the soft wax strip, it's actually pulling at the skin, the hair just comes out with it. Tends to be a little more painful, um, but does its job. So there's soft wax, there's sugar wax, which is a lot of um, like do-it-yourselfers will do that too because you can actually make a sugar wax at home. I don't recommend, wa or recommend waxing yourself, but people are gonna do it anyway, so there you go. Um, I'm just not a whole fan of the sugar process in general because you're taking the same kind of sugar piece, putting it on your skin, taking it off, rolling it again, putting your skin, so by the end you have like a hairy ball of wax and that just grosses me out. So not a big fan of that, but again, works for some people, so awesome. Um, and then hard wax, which is what I use. I love hard wax. Uh, hard wax, most of the time is made out of beeswax, not always. Um, uh, with mermaid wax, actually, which is what I use, they have a vegan-friendly allergen-free, which is not made from beeswax, so vegan-friendly which is pretty neat, um, but most of them come from beeswax, so um, it, it's not sticky. Think more of like candle wax, um, except you want to melt it down, just not obviously as hot as candle wax can melt it down because you'll burn yourself, but, um, but yeah, so you'll melt it down. So even whenever you put it on your skin, it's only adhering mm -hmm. to the hair itself. It pretty much flows around the hair follicles, when it cools, it suction cups its way around it. So whenever you remove that strip, it's pulling the hair out with it, but it's not harming your skin. Um, I love hard wax. I have multiple videos going into great detail why I love hard wax so much. Um, but again, do research, find out for yourself. So hopefully this video helps you understand waxing a little bit better, um, history of it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. My phone number is 512-501-2767. And if you are a licensed esthetician, don't forget to check out uh, Wax Club.
or licensed professionals only. Cosmos are fine. And if you're currently in aesthetic school, that's fine too, but professionals only. Thank you guys. Have a good one.